Hey guys, this is Victoria B back with another video. Um, I'm, guys, check out my new channel. I still have this channel, of course, but check out my new channel. It's called Capricorn Soul Tribe Tarot. I'm uploading uploading a video now on my phone, so that will come out tomorrow. So check it out. I'm gonna put it up on the community post, and if you don't mind, give me a like and a subscribe and a share. Share the video. Um, it's for Capricorn, but it's, it's for anybody else that wants to watch it too. It's just a channel I dedicated to Capricorn. I will still be on this channel, of course. Okay, I'm going to read for Scorpio tonight, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are not a Scorpio sun sign, please check your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There could be messages in that video for you too. And you can reverse the roles, vice versa, and you can reverse the story, vice, vice versa, and then reverse the roles, male or female, Okay. And it won't resonate with every Scorpio. This is going to be a, this is, I don't know what kind of reading. This is the um, full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, which is tomorrow, I think. I mean, it's, I think it's tomorrow. The moon looks like it's full tonight, actually. So we are, we are in the fifth, aren't we? Okay, I'm losing track of time here. Anyway, Holy Spirit, allow me to be the channel for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Allow me to be the channel for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for this full moon lunar eclipse for their highest good? This is the Green Witch Oracle that I'm reading. I don't have the box here, but Green Witch Oracle. Okay, what does Scorpio need to know? If they're in this full moon energy for their highest good. Okay, we have fertility and memory. Fertility is watermelon, the watermelon. Um, there's a Leo symbol on here that could mean something to somebody and there's a 29 on here somebody could somebody's birthday could be on the 29th or 2 and 9 that's 11 so it comes to a 2 there may be some decision you need to make here this is cute fertility okay and we have memory number 16 rosemary yeah and also I'm getting you might um, eat, want to eat some watermelon. They're really healthy. They have a lot of water in them too to hydrate you, especially if you're pregnant. You know, I'm not saying anybody's pregnant. Somebody could be pregnant. I don't know. Memory. Rosemary. Okay, this is a herb. Number 16 comes out to a 7. Memory. So you could be remembering something about somebody. Okay, you could be reflecting, getting a lot of memories, getting a lot of flashbacks is kind of what I'm getting, you know. The rosemary, you might want to get some fresh rosemary and cook that with your, put that in your food, cook your, with your food if you cook. Let's see. Let's get, one. Let's get some more. What else for Scorpio? Abundance. Wow, fertility, abundance. That's good. Abundance is number 23. That comes out to a 5. That can mean a change. Abundance is the grape. Yep, grapes mean abundance for sure. Hmm, I don't see any zodiac signs on this. Okay. Abundance. Might want to eat some watermelon and some grapes and put some uh, rosemary in your food. Very healthy. Alright. Let's get some more. We got fertility, memory, and abundance communication the P P in a pod you could be two peas in a pod with somebody you could be somebody you're close to somebody that you're close to may be communicating with you soon communication all right and there's a Pisces symbol on that somebody could be dealing with a Pisces let's see let's get one more what else for Scorpio? Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hope. The Daffodil. This is Taurus. Okay. Could be something about, could be related to Taurus somehow. And then we have the overall energy is emotion. Cucumber. Okay. It has the sign of cancer on it. Could be dealing with the cancer. You could be feeling 
you could have been you could be feeling really emotional at this time i guess that's what this full moon energy is trying to tell us that's the overall energy you could be thinking about past memories you know feeling very emotional about somebody um maybe you, you have some hope for something some hope for a relationship well, i guess it's going to be a love reading fertility um an abundance could mean financial good luck also fertility could mean somebody is pregnant all right can we, you're going to get communication from somebody somebody you may be could be a friend or an ex or somebody that, or somebody that you are close to even a family member y'all are like two peas in a pod i keep hearing that okay so we got fertility memory abundance communication hope and emotion is the overall energy okay let's see Hmm, okay, never mind. All right, looks like it's going to be a love reading. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Okay, allow me to be the channel Holy Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, this is for Scorpio and their person. Please give us the messages, give Scorpio the messages they need to know. First for Scorpio and their person for their highest good. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have number 29, fertility. Let's see what this is. Fertility. Right. What is this fertility, Spirit? For Capricorn and a person. The watermelon. The Leo engagement. Okay. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. Fertility and engagement. This somebody on here is giving someone a ring. This man is giving this woman a ring. Somebody might want to give you a ring. They might want they might ask you to get married. That's what I'm seeing. This person looks like a very abundant. This person is very abundant. Okay? Or there could be a pregnancy. We're just that's a side note. Could be very abundant. Could be a Leo. Don't have to be a Leo. Just there's a Leo symbol on here. Okay. Okay, what is uh, memory? Oh, look what's on the bottom. New love is on the bottom. I got to take that. I just did a video for Capricorn on my other channel, so they got they got love I love reading too. This is the energy. New love's coming in. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. This new love, since that was on the bottom of the deck from the engagement, um, that was the overall energy for that section. So, kind of see you're having a new love. They might want to get married. They might ask you to get married. You know, could be. Memory. Memory. Got Leo on this card, too. Leo on the watermelon, on fertility, the watermelon, and Leo on the memory card. So, what is the memory for Scorpio? Two Leo, two Leo card, two Leo symbols might be dealing with a Leo. Religious factors, okay, memory. Okay. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Your person could be, obviously, y'all are different religions. You could be different colors. You could be different value systems, different backgrounds, very, very different, very different, maybe religious views, extremely different. Um, also, Yeah, I'm going to see. This could be somebody. I don't know. that This memory. This somebody you're remembering. It's either an ex or somebody from a past life. Okay? I don't know why I'm, I heard that. I, I heard it. So, Abundance, number 23. The grapes. What is this? This has got... This don't have a... Oh, it has Sagittarius on it. Okay? Sagittarius. There's Sagittarius on the Abundance card. So, 
two Leos and a Sagittarius. He could be dealing with a Sagittarius too. Whoever's watching this, Abundance, the Grape. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, they're both in a defensive stance on this card. Um, you could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius. All right. Or you think a Sagittarius is controlling. I, I don't know. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Something about a Saggy here too. Trust. Okay. What is hope? This is the Daffodil. This has Taurus. Okay. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. What's the hope card for Scorpio? What's the hope card for Scorpio? Whoa. Okay. Soulmate. Okay. Wow. Okay, we got soulmate. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. Okay, hope is something. This could be a new love that you may be hoping for or they may be hoping for you okay or this could be an ex with a memory card well we're gonna see here soon give your relationship a chance work on your partnership and soulmate yes is this your soulmate okay you got a new love that's a soulmate okay Maybe you got, okay, this is what I'm seeing. You guys are very different from each other, extremely different. Both of you might have, want to control things. I'm saying both parties, especially the other one, okay? But you still have hope here. This person's your soulmate. You guys are very different. You're very stuck. You're very set in your ways or something. Yeah. Maybe um, somebody here doesn't trust enough to let go. You know, you're holding on. Somebody's holding on to their control. And it's blocking your abundance and your fertility. It's blocking this new love from coming in. The new love is somebody that getting to know each other. If you already know this person, then they're telling you to open up and talk, you know, talk to them or they are to whatever, vice versa. Communication, the P, somebody's two P's in a pod. That's a Pisces. Somebody's on. Somebody might be dealing with a Pisces here. Scorpio, what's the communication card? I'm sorry, guys. It fell on the floor <coughs> very soon, and that came out in reverse. It it, it came out in reverse. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it back in because I don't really like to read these in reverse. So, Okay, what is the communication? P, two P's in a pod, Pisces energy. What is this pertaining to Scorpio and their person? Communication means somebody may be communicating with you soon about an engagement. A new love might be coming in. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Hmm. I'm kind of getting here that this new love, you might already know them. I mean, you might know them, okay? And maybe this person hasn't told you how they feel about you or you haven't told them or whoever or both. And you're both just kind of, you communicate you're like two, maybe you don't know this, but you're like two peas in a pod with this person. Y'all go together. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing that somebody needs to like make the first move. You know, maybe, and it looks like whoever this is, they're scared to come. They're scared. They're, they're like, they, they're trying to control everything. They might have trust issues. You might have trust issues. Okay. 
All right, what is the overall energy is emotion, the cucumber. Um, this is saying to, it has the sign of cancer on it. Could be dealing with a cancer. Um, cucumbers, you should eat cucumbers. They are full, they have a lot of water in them. Water is what keep is our life source. So to have abundance, fertility, and have emotional balance, you would need, need water or vegetables and fruits with water, which would be for uh, watermelon and, and, um, bleh, sorry, I can't talk. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon in cucumbers. Okay. That's the, other. what's the emotion card? What was, what's the emotion card? Calling in your soulmate. Oh my God. Yeah. We got soulmate and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together okay somebody in here on this reading is very emotional that's the overall energy could be you could be them could be both um somebody here wants to make the first somebody here needs to make a first move okay make the first move you guys are very different from each other whoever this is you're very different, extremely different. You have control issues. That person has control issues. They don't want to let go. And it could be both sides, but I'm getting more it's them. They're, they don't have trust. So somebody here needs to make the first move. They do. You may be getting communication from this person. Mm-hmm. But I see a new love coming in. Yes, Lord. Okay. Calling in your soulmate on the emotion card. This here, emotion. And calling in your soulmate. Okay. That's the overall energy. Number four. I'm hearing four of wands. You know, four of wands relationship. Upgrade in a relationship. Um... Yeah, somebody is feeling very emotional over you. They could possibly want to, like I said, with the engagement, new love, give you an engagement ring or ask you to get married, all that good stuff, you know. Um, you could be feeling very emotional at this time because it's a Scorpio full moon, lunar eclipse, okay? So you could be feeling very emotional. You might feel the same way about this person. This is a new love. You might already know who they are. Or if you don't know that know who they are, they're coming. They might be coming in soon. Wow. Mm. Okay. Anything else for the emotion card and calling in your soulmate? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, they're telling you to. The way you could get to know this person. The way you guys, they, you, they might be a good idea for them to flirt. If not, you need to. Mm-hmm. We have a release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So you, your person could still be with an ex, you know, or trying to get away. They, or they have not released them energetically. Okay. Wedding on the bottom. This situation involves marriage. Okay. Somebody here might need to let go of a marriage. If not, then we got engagement, new love, engagement, wedding, and new love. That all fits together to me. I think that's what it is. You're going to have a wedding. But someone near here needs to release their ex. They need to release their ex. Somebody does. I don't know if it's this new person or old person. Mm-hmm. Damn. Okay. There's a lot of passion between you. In this new person or whoever it is that's on your mind yeah okay let me see what we'll see what else is going on all right something I just did with Capricorn um, I'm gonna give you these numbers off of these uh, I've just kind of got a feeling give you these numbers off of these um, green witch cards they're all the numbers and I'm kind of getting they might be lottery numbers okay we have I'm only gonna say them one time 29, 29, 
16. My light is way too bright. 16. Um, 23. 30, uh, 23, 38, number 4, and number 2. Okay, that's six numbers. So if you don't, if you like to play those scratch-off, scratch-offs, for example, you know how in the convenience store they have numbers on them? You know, and you say, I want number such and such, and they get the scratch-off for you. Okay, like for example, you would go... If you want to do number, you go 29. If you want to buy a scratch off, look for number 29 or look for number four. So I'll do, I will repeat them again 29, 16, 38, 23, 4, and 2. I don't know. I just did that on my other channel with a Capricorn video. So I may as well just keep going. I don't know. There's something lucky about these cards. I don't know what it is. Just what I'm feeling. Let me know if you win any money. If you do, share the, uh, Send me a tip. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. All right, let's get into the reading here. Let's get into the tarot part. This is the Rider Weight, ra the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot. What is Scorpio's person's energy spirit? Scorpio's person, what's their energy? Four of Wands. Remember I said the cucumber number four? Well, the Four of Wands just came out. Four of Wands. Sorry about the glare, y'all. There we go. Four of Wands. Like I said, this could be definitely be a soulmate or even a twin flame. With the Four of Wands, it could be. Mm-hmm. Y'all could be soulmates or twin flames, okay? Yeah, your person wherever, or wherever your person your person is staying in a house with somebody here. That's another two people on here. Your person could still be with somebody here. They're staying in a house, but they're not happy there. They're burdened. That person's got to push all the way up out of there. That person's trying to push their way out of that situation. They're not happy. They're full of burdens there. Very burdensome. Okay tired person could be tired yeah your person could be thinking about you with this memory card it could be an ex thinking about you or somebody that even the new person that you might already know they might be thinking about you yeah okay what is Cap um, capricorn what is scorpio's energy what is scorpio's energy Scorp what is scorpio's energy the King of Cups. That's you. That's your card. The King of Cups is actually a Scorpio card. Water energy. Okay. Scorpio, look. Listen. Remember I said somebody's got to make the first move. Somebody is not telling somebody how they feel. Both of y'all. Both of y'all, this new love, you could be thinking about each other and you're not telling each other how you feel. With the King of Cups, you're, you're loving you're very you're an empath you're very you know you're intuitive you're loving the king of love you could be in masculine energy male or female but you you're not you're whole you know you're not you're you're in control of your emotions you're not telling this person how you feel i had to say something about that i'm sorry yeah scorpio i'm sorry but this is your energy four of pentacles you could be holding on to this person still with your heart chakra you know, something like that, okay? This person, wherever they're at, they're burdened too. So they could be, you know, thinking about you too. It could be this new person too. I did see an ex. They Maybe they need to release their ex. I think that's what it is. They need to release their ex. They're burdened. I'm thinking it's this new person. I swear I do. Okay. And they need to release their ex. I don't even think it's you. Okay. What is the problem in this situation? What is the issue between Scorpio and their person? The high priestess. Ah, silence. You're not... Okay. Remember it said heart-to-heart -heart talk, getting to know each other. 
somebody needs to make the first move. Okay, you could have a 5D communication with this person. And somebody here is highly intuitive. I'm getting that's you. Even the other person, the new person. But the problem could be somebody, there could be some secrets being kept. Or it could be silence. Like you're just, you are, you, you know them in the spirit realm. You know, you just have a relationship in the spirit realm. Something like that. Oh, yeah. The problem, the, the world. Hmm. Okay, this is a new cycle. I mean, this is a cycle ending out, okay, to start a new one, okay? You've been through all the 21 steps of the Major Arcana. You learned a lot of lessons, all right? Whoever, you or your person, looks like your person has. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a Scorpio, or a Taurus. Yeah, it looks like you guys had it either in there's either some secrets between y'all that needs to come out or you may not be ha talking to this person as in the spirit realm. Wow. Is that what that is? Is that what this is spirit? There's they're not no longer talking to this person in the spirit realm. Yeah, it is. Yep. You're no longer talking to this person in the spirit realm. Could be you. Because maybe the person is married. Okay? Queen of Pentacles could be someone that's married. So remember I said somebody could be married. Wedding. Alright. So that's the problem. Judgment. Yeah, um... Gabriel's blowing the horn, telling somebody to make a move. That other that somebody needs to release their ex. Mm-hmm. That's why it ended. Okay, what else? What's the outcome? Okay, let's see. How does um Scorpio's new person, how do they feel about you? How does Scorpio's new person feel about you? The hermit. They feel like, is this Virgo energy? You could have Virgo in your chart or dealing with one. They feel like you're very, um, like a sage. You're very wise. You're spiritual. You go within. They could feel that's how they feel. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person. Yeah, this Eight of Wands. This is a lot of messages. I don't know who quit dealing with who here in the spirit realm. I don't know. Y'all talking telepathically or whatever. But I don't know who quit that. Or somebody found out somebody was married or something like that. But we got the hermit and the eight of wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're... I'm thinking... Now, their energy's on the bottom, so... The hermit, they feel like you're very wise and you're very spiritual, okay? And you're smart. The eight of wands means they want to come. This new person wants to come towards you. They want to make a move. They're seeing you as an empress. They're seeing you as the empress. Okay? All right. Hmm. All right, how does Scorpio's person feel about them? I mean, how do you, how do you, I, I just asked the same question twice. Ace of Cups, yeah, they want to offer you this cup of love. This is love here. I'm waiting on the Queen of Cups to come out. All right, how does Scorpio feel about this new person? How does, how do you feel about this new person? Uh, you got your guards up. Seven of Wands. You block them? <laughs> That's why y'all aren't talking no more in the spirit realm. Or, period, or not talking, period. You block them. Scorpio, you're a trip. Okay. Yeah. You block them because you felt like... This is the new person. You block them because you felt like they betrayed you in some way with the Ten of Swords. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what the problem is. You block them. 
maybe you found out they was married or with somebody else. I don't know. But you're not talking to them in the spirit realm anymore. You blocked them. <laughs> this person wants to come towards you. They do. <coughs> I'm kind of seeing the new person because you're a king of cups. You could be in your masculine energy too. You know, you could be the masculine. They could be the feminine man or woman. Okay. What's this? <laughs> Look, we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah. I think you you went through some sort of battle with this person. It's a new person. It's someone you already know, but you're not, you've never actually been with them. Just in the spirit realm. You've only talked in the spirit realm or online or something. Because the Eight of Wands could mean online communication. You feel like they betrayed you. And you went through some kind of battle with them. Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe something got something got stopped. Or you feel like they were too slow. King of Pentacles. Yeah. It's a King of Pentacles energy. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all, look. Where's the queen? I just saw the queen. Okay, we got a couple on here. The king and queen of pentacles. This is your per this is your counterpart. It's this new person. You felt they betrayed you. They did something. You felt like they betrayed you in some way? Mm-hmm. Maybe they owe you an apology. Okay. Are they going to come to you with some kind of emotional communication? Yeah, it's somebody from a... It's not a past person. This is a past life. Because listen to this, guys. I have another reading I want to do for Scorpio. It's about a... I'm not going to say what it is. I'm afraid somebody will copy it. But it's a, it's, a, it's a past life reading. Okay? And I've been having it in my... I have a little notebook that I write channel messages or downloads that I get. It's been in there for two or three weeks. And I didn't know whether... Anybody would be, whether it was really, it's just something I channeled. And I, it is, it's a past life relationship. You've never been involved with this person physically, only in through the spirit realm or mentally. But they're actually your counterpart. And Scorpio, you're guarded, you're hiding your feelings from them. But really with a king, yeah. And then we have, okay, now let's go to another scenario. We have two kings and a queen. Okay, this is another storyline. We have two kings and a queen. You're the queen of pentacles. Your part, your counterpart is this king of pentacles. But there's another king. There's two kings. So two people could be competing for you. Okay? Yep, ace of pentacles. Yeah, you guys are going to have some kind of new beginning. A, new, a gift from the universe. Anything. A gift. A... And, you know, look, a gift could be a child. A gift could be a child. Even. Somebody here could be pregnant, you know. Somebody might get pregnant in the future, just saying. Mm-hmm. All right. It is a past life. It's not a past person. This person has a person they need to release. That's what it is. This new person. All right. And they may, I don't know, I'm not even going to say nothing else. That's it. Okay. But I'm getting this is a past life thing. But they're your soulmate. And I also got four of wands. That could mean even a twin flame energy. But I was saying that was your ex's energy. They're living in a, or their energy. They're living in a house with somebody right now. But they're not happy there. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> okay, we got this King and Queen of Pentacles. This is you and this new person. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So whatever you feel, whatever you feel you need to do, listen to your intuition. Don't let nobody tell you. You know, I mean, you can ask for advice, but really you know in your gut feeling you know what to do. 
listen to your intuitive feelings. Because it looks like you had some sort of battle with this person. Or they, you felt like they betrayed you. I don't know. Twin flame. I knew it. Oh, hell no. No wonder this is... Okay, twin flame. I can get it up there. Twin flame. Twin flame. Okay. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. Okay. Spiritually based. Based on a spiritually based romantic relationship. Okay. You and this person was communicating in the 5D in the spirit realm. And you might know them. They know you. Um, this is going to really sound weird, okay? They could have betrayed you in the spirit realm. You could be... Um, you could be highly intuitive. You could be able to, you know, go in other dimensions and all that good stuff, okay? I don't want to get too weird on y'all tonight. I don't feel like it. Um, spirit is spiritually based, but even that got cut off, you know? And what I'm seeing is this King of Cups could actually could be a woman, you know? It could be somebody, you know, they did something to you in the spirit realm that you felt like you got betrayed over, and you're very guarded towards them. And that one of those kings could be a woman. I mean, it could be a man or a woman. It don't matter. Two kings and a queen. There's competition there. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Listen to your intuitive feelings and twin flame. That four of wands is a, is a twin flame card. What else do we need to know? Shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energy. Fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light around you. So it's imagine a white light surrounding you to shield yourself. Why do you need to shield yourself? Solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. Okay. Something with your solar plexus chakra. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let me find out what's going on. Why do you need to shield yourself against this twin flame? Why do you need to shield yourself against this twin flame? Why does Scorpio... Thank you. Four of Wands. Twice. Reser reaching milestone. Harvest. Celebrate the achievement. A warm hearth. Stability and peace. Solid foundation has been laid. It says, it says shield yourself from fear-based energies. So, it could just be negative energy around you. They could be your pers the person that could be with somebody that's negative, you know, that has bad energy. You need to shield yourself from that. Any, any fear-based energy. Mm -hmm. There's the Empress again. Okay. I got that twice. That's a new person's energy. You could be an imp you you're the masculine, whoever I'm talking to. Look. Mm. Five of Swords. Okay. Listen, you felt like your person this new person that you just talked to in the spirit realm, you may have felt like they betrayed you, but what I'm there, they did something to you. It's this third party that they're with. The third party is jealous, victory at all costs, um, by any means necessary. This person is trying to hold on to your new person, to your twin flame, by any means necessary. Mm hmm. And your person may not, that new person may not see this, okay. Mm-hmm.
But I got a Five of Cups and I got that other card. They're not happy there. Mm-mm. Ace of Wands. They could be attracted to you or want a new beginning with you. Also, somebody in here could be pregnant. And if they're pregnant, if someone's pregnant, the baby's going to be a boy with the Ace of Wands. Okay? Mm-hmm. see what I'm seeing is this relationship could be successful that's coming up or but somebody could be with a public eye here um, it could be successful okay but I think that this person somebody's in fear okay you got to shield yourself from fear-based energies okay and take charge of your life. Activate your solar plexus chakra because on this six of wands is a solar plexus chakra. The only way that this person's ever gonna be able to come towards you is if they get over their fear. Okay, and remember it can be flipped around vice versa. Mm -hmm. Is somebody they're with? Okay. Is somebody your person's with? That's what it is. Anyway, my video has cut off, has, has frozen, so I'm going to go ahead and um, end this reading. But you have a twin flame. Be careful. Something is going on in the spirit realm, okay? That's all I'm saying. I will see you next time. Love you guys. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to do that other reading for you, Scorpio, the past life reading. And I hope you enjoy. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel, please. And share the video if you want to. And check out my new channel. Like I said, Capricorn Soul Tribe Tarot. It's on my, it'll be on my community post. Please give that a look and give it a like. I'd appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Love you. God bless.